in various Eastern traditions, Guru Purnima is a holy day to remember all saints and mystics, to especially honor one's own initiating guru and the living masters. Happy Guru Purnima. The teachings of all saints are essentially the same. They speak of the kingdom of heaven which is within. They show the path and impart instructions how to attain it. They do not claim to teach something new or different from what other saints have taught. Tulsi Sahib declared that he was giving the same teachings as those of Guru Kabir, Guru Nanak, Dadu Dayal, and other saints. Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras for the first time coined the expression Santmat, or teachings of the saints, to stress the basic unity of all saints. That's a passage from a white paper on the religion of Sants and Radhaswami faith published in Agra, India. From my own Guruji, Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj, Another common misconception is that prophets, saints, and mystics search for a new truth, quote-unquote. Rather, what they do is to simply remove the layers of dirt, of accumulated misinterpretations that have corrupted the truth. Then the living teacher will bring forth the very same truth in a new light. The original truth must repeatedly be presented to suit the current age says Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. Happy Guru Purnima, Happy Master's Day. Paramhansa Yogananda once said, Unconditioned devotion to the Guru enables him to pour peacefully the ocean of his wisdom into the expanding being of his disciple or student. Without deep devotion, the debris of doubt clogs the mental channel of the disciple's perceptions. He cannot faithfully receive the guru's subtle inflowing rivulets of enlightenment. Happy Master's Day. Happy Guru Purnima. Devotees pay homage to their guru or spiritual master, especially on this day. Thankfully, there have been many honest, loving, radiant, godly beings that have graced this planet with their enlightened compassion. They work with those who seek the path of the masters and successfully practice inner light and sound meditation in a way that's almost identical to the ideal spiritual path proclaimed by Swamiji Maharaj of Agra, Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, and Darya Sahib of Bihar with a rich mystical approach to meditation practice, traveling quite far along in their journey back to God. For them, these teachings of Sansat Gurus are not merely sweet or syrupy hallmark card sayings made in an attempt to be popular or cliché. These initiates have very real experiences commencing with meditation practice. An ode to the Sansat Guru between an ocean and a river, choose the ocean. Between a river and a tributary, follow the river. The mediocre teacher tells. The good teacher explains. The superior teacher demonstrates. The great teacher inspires. A passage from William Ward. Rumi said, If you seek to know God, sit at the feet of the saints. An ode to the Sant Sat Guru, in praise of the Sant Soul of Love, who has reached the spiritual realm above and merged in God. Hail to the competent spiritual master, the qualified teacher, rare to find in this world, so few and far between. A true one, a genuine mentor of souls, righteous and worthy guide, who forgets not his disciples. Fearless being, light giver, leader of a spiritual community, with gratitude to the competent living one, in a sea of samsara, illusion, world of changes, of falsehood, of posing, there is a bright light in the darkness. A silent music becomes audible, 
At the feet of such a loving, radiant one, the soul cannot help but find inner light and slip into deep samadhi meditation. In the eyes of a saint are love, wisdom, light, compassion, grace, a reflection of God in this realm of the material plane. The master power connects the soul with the supreme Lord of Love. In the Anurag Sagar, or Ocean of Love, of Guru Kabir and Dharamdas, it says, Only the connoisseur who will test the word and listen to the teachings with full attention, and within whom these teachings will dwell, only he will understand this. He within whom the sun of knowledge will manifest and remove the darkness of attachment, only he will understand this. I am telling you this Anurag Sagar, only rare saints will understand. This is something similar from Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar. This is a boundless hemisphere, unfathomable and endless. Rarely, through proper technique, can someone cross it. It is known only to the connoisseur Satguru and to those whom he reveals it. Gems, diamonds, and the light are shown by him close by. It is only an intoxicated devotee, a lover of the saint, who will practice such a discipline of the sound current, says Daria. From Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, the great Adi Guru, or modern-day founding guru of Sant Mat lineages. The saints have explained the secret of the sound current in detail in the verses of their hymns. A rare person will follow it. Those who follow it, after acquiring the understanding, will get merged in the sound current and become one with God. A passage from the Ghat Ramayan. And from Swamiji Maharaj of Agra. Saints reveal this truth only a Gurumuk or faithful disciple will believe and understand it. This mot or teaching of sants is deep and hidden. None knows it except sants. Radhaswami has revealed this faith. Some seekers after truth will accept it. Thank you.